Greetings to you friends in the matchless and the highly exalted name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's my privilege and honor to come to you and to reach you with the word of God. This is uh, John Wesley, the pastor of Christ Worship Center and John Wesley International Ministries. Uh, the Bible says the word of God is so active and living. And the uh, man of God said, there are so many books in the world. Some books may inform us and some books may reform us. Only the Bible can transform us into the image of God. If you want to be transformed into the image of God, you need to come to the Bible because the Bible is the inspired word of Holy Spirit. Every word, every letter, every verse and every chapter, every book in the Bible inspired by Holy Spirit for our benefit. If you read the Bible, if you dive into the Bible, you will certainly know about God and you will certainly know about eternal life. Knowing Jesus is knowing eternal life. I would like to bring forth uh, a message from the Bible today. The scripture portion is taken from Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Arise and shine. The Hebrew word used for arise is kum. Kum means get up. God is speaking to each and every person. And he is speaking to you and he is speaking to me. Arise, shine, for your light has come to you. My dear friends, God is same yesterday and today and forever. The same God who spoke to our ancestors, the same God who spoke to prophets in the Old Testament, and the same God who spoke to apostles in the New Testament and all other people, He is still alive and He is with us. And He speaks to each and every person. If we go through the Bible, we can see a couple of people who received the same commandment from God. The first person was Abraham. Abraham was one of the key persons in the history of the Bible. And probably everybody knows Abraham. Abraham, he received the call of God and God spoke to him, get up and leave your country and go to the land that I'm going to show you. By obeying to the voice of God, Abraham had received four kinds of blessing. Get up and go to the land that I'm going to show you. It was a journey of faith. He started a journey from the land of Chaldeans and he went to the land of Canaan. And eventually, God blessed him tremendously in every aspect. After many centuries, this incident happened. There was a man called Jonah. He was the prophet of God. God told him the same thing. Get up and go to Nineveh to preach my judgment, to tell them that God is going to judge you. So Jonah did not obey to the voice of God. Abraham received the same commandment from God, get up and go to the land of Canaan. And Jonah received the same commandment, get up and go to Nineveh. And God is speaking to us, get up and shine for me and reach somebody with the gospel. Go into all the world and preach the good news. So when we compare Abraham and Jonah, we will learn some incredible lessons. The first thing, Abraham doesn't know God and he did not have any idea about the true God. All of a sudden, God spoke to him and appeared to him and said, go to the land of Canaan. He obeyed to the voice of God by faith. When we come to Jonah, Jonah was man of God and he was the prophet of God. He knew the heart of God, but intentionally he disobeyed to the voice of God. When we come to Abraham, Abraham had no scripture in his hand, no written word. He simply believed in God by faith. At the time of Jonah, he had at least five books of the Bible in his hand. He had scriptures, but he disobeyed to the word of God and to the command of God. And the third thing, Abraham doesn't know where to go. 
by the time god spoke to him god never revealed the place to go god asked him to start a journey by faith abraham started a journey by hearing the message of god jonah knew where he had to go god has given him a specific direction go to nineveh and preach my message so jonah had a specific direction but intentionally he disobeyed god when we come to abraham abraham had no proper transportation he traveled all the way from ur to haran haran to shikam he had no good transportation at that time we can easily guess that when we come to the time of jonah he had a very very good transportation he had ships and chariots and so on even though he had every comfort he disobeyed to the voice of god abraham received the blessing of god because of his obedience jonah he was in trouble because of his disobedience dear friends you may be watching this program from anywhere in this world god is speaking to you you need to rise up you need to get up you need to shine for jesus this is the time for us to shine for our lord and savior jesus christ we need to reflect jesus in our lives this is the time to shine for jesus we are living in a scientific explosion and knowledge advancement people they are having different kinds of opinions on truth and everyone says i have my own opinion about my life and about god i don't want to be convinced by any other thing people are going in their own ways and going away from the lord but today god is speaking to you you need to get up and rise up and shine for jesus so jonah was more obligated than abraham to hear the message of god because jonah was blessed by so many things and you and i are more obliged to obey to the voice of god than jonah if you ask me why i'll tell you certain things the first thing abraham doesn't know god jonah knew something about god but we knew everything about god because god has revealed himself in various ways to us better than ever before second thing abraham had no books in his hand jonah had at least five books but we have 66 books that's called bible the bible is complete and concrete and special revelation of god given to us everything that we need to know about god is written in the bible so we have a complete scripture complete canon in our hands so we are more obliged than jonah to obey to the voice of god abraham never knew where he wanted to go but jonah knew where he had to go we also know what is our destiny what is our purpose we know the purpose of our lives we know the meaning of our lives we have been saved and redeemed by the blood of jesus christ and sealed by holy spirit to do something what is that to proclaim his praises to tell the people that our god is loving god and he is compassionate he is gracious god he forgives our sins the scripture clearly says son of man has an authority to forgive all our sins if you confess your sins your sins will be forgiven this is the message we need to bring into the world one of my quotations that i like most here we are to introduce the living savior to the dying world yes that's absolutely true we are here to introduce the living savior that's jesus to this dying world all the people in the world they need the gospel of jesus so that's the reason jesus said go into all the world and preach the good news we are not here to condemn people we are not here to hate people we are here to spread the gospel of jesus my dear friend no matter what the situation you are facing no matter what the deplorable condition that you are having please never forget your call you are called to impact this generation you are called 
to impact the people of this world impact people with the gospel of Jesus because the Bible says gospel of Jesus has a power to change the hearts of people praise the Lord let us take this gospel to every nook and corner and let us bring this gospel to every house so that they will understand how powerful and how loving is our loving Savior Jesus Christ is get up arise and go and shine for Jesus. God bless you. Man of God John Wesley is a chosen vessel of God, impacting millions of people across the globe with the gospel of Jesus Christ. He conducts large crusades in India and other parts of this world, in which the Holy Spirit God is moving powerfully and touching many hearts and families. At a very young age, he traveled to over 65 countries to teach biblical facts and life-changing messages. He is pastoring Christ Worship Center, where 10,000 people worship the Lord every Sunday and are being nurtured in the Word of God. John Wesley Foundation, Pastors League of India, Bible Wonders Media Ministries, Christian Doctors Association, Christian Couples Club, Young Holy Team, Christian Employees and Businessmen Fellowship, Shekinah Publications are the various wings of John Wesley International Ministries.